All right, let's go into our Wuji stance. So the feet flat on the floor, knees slightly bent, hips slightly forward, shoulders relaxed, let them drop down, arms slightly in front. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upwards to so elongate the spine. Tuck the chin in just a little bit. Breathe in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in, let your abdomen expand. And there's a pause. And then begin your exhalation and the abdomen contracts towards the spine. And again, the pause before you begin your inhalation. Just feel yourself sinking into the ground. Each time you exhale, sink a little deeper. Feel like the energy is flowing from the bottom of your feet all the way down to the center of the earth. And each time you inhale, feel the earth rising up to meet your feet. There's a little bit of a wave-like action. Nice, deep abdominal breathing, nice and slow. Long inhalation, a pause, long exhalation, and then a pause. Let's start today with picking cherries. So bring your hands up to the height of your face, palms facing you. With your left hand, spiral that arm out. So it's palm out and reach up there without lifting the shoulders. So the shoulders don't come up, you're just lifting up. And that comes then back down as it spirals down. And the right hand spirals up, spirals down. Breathe out as you go up, breathe in as you come down, breathe out, breathe in. Couple more, giving those shoulders a chance to loosen up, feeling the energy flowing up your arm into the universe and then bringing that energy back down to your body. Last one. Come back down in front of you and send your arms all the way out to the sides. Turn your left palm up, right palm stays down. Doesn't matter which direction you look at. Let's say, let's all look to the left. You're gonna turn the palms opposite as you look to the opposite side. So I'm just gonna go back and forth as the palms Rotate.
Nice, easy breathing. Nice, normal breathing. Don't worry about how it fits in with the posture. Try to keep it nice and slow. We have a tendency to go too fast. And just a couple more. Glass one. Good. Drop your hands down so they're basically facing the ground. I'm gonna do a kind of another variation of that. It's called Owl Looks Back. It's one of the eight brocade. So you're gonna rotate your hands or your thumbs upward as you look over your left shoulder. Look forward, rotate the hands back facing the earth. Then look over your right shoulder as your hands rotate up and come back. Breathe out as you look over your shoulder. Breathe in as you come back to center. Good. One more time each side. Let's make nice big circles. So to go to wider stance and with your left hand, just sweep across as your weight shift, come all the way around and shift your weight back. Make nice big circles. Zen circles. Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in as you come down. Just try to let the arm float up. So with all these postures, the less effort it takes to move, the more the energy can move. One more time. And come down, shift back, and then switch to the opposite hand. Good, just a few more. Last one. Come back to center. Palms up, bring your feet closer together. As you breathe in, lift the hands up to the chest and come up onto your toes and then breathe out, turn the palms down and push it back down. Let's do that twice more. Clearing to the lungs. Good. 
Good. Put your hands back out, go to a wider stance again. Very simple movement, bear, one of the bear walking. We're just simply gonna move side to side, knees just slightly bent, so you're not locking them out, but otherwise you're rather stiff-legged. Feel that vibration coming up your legs. A few more. Last one. Come back to center. Bring down the heavens. Palms up. Lift the energy up over your head as you breathe in. Breathe out as you push it down the body from the top of the head all the way down the legs into the ground. Twice more. Good. Take a moment to just check in. Notice where you may have some muscle tension or pain or energetic blockages or stagnation. Just identify them and move on. Don't give them any thought. Bring your arms up and lean back gently and then lean forward, nice arch. So each vertebra comes down at time. So we breathe in as we come up. Get a pause here and breathe out as you go down and then a pause. So just rolling up each of the vertebra opens and closes. Notice when you lean back, how open your front is and how compressed your back is, how closed it is. And then when you drop forward, you're opening up the back and closing the front. One more time. And just come back down to center. Good. So opening the flow, just let your hands drift upward on the in-breath. There's a pause and then they float back down on the out-breath. And as I've said many times before, it's more like your wrists are being lifted upward. Your hand is just kind of long for the ride. Visualization I always like to use is you have a string attached to your wrist. At the end of the string is a cork. 
and you're standing in a pool of water. And so when your hands are down at the bottom, the corks pull the wrists up. When they get to about shoulder height, somebody cuts the string and they slowly settle back down. Breathe in as you go up, breathe out as you go down. You can shift a little bit into your heels as you come up and then a little weight shift into the toes as you go down. Just making the movement even more effortless. What you're striving for here is not even to feel the arms moving. It's as if the breath is just making them float up and down. This time, come up a little closer to the body than we were, and then push out. Come back in and down. So as we come up, hips go back. As we come back in, hips come forward, then down. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's add one more movement. So we're going to come up, we're going to go out. We're going to come in to the sides, in and down. So breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Just try to let it all just flow. Let the movement happen naturally, effortlessly. Opening to the six directions. couple more. Last one. And down. And let's just go into another flow that's really lovely, flying. We're gonna take this into the full sequence to where we work on our balance. But for now, don't move your feet. Let your hands drift up to the sides, just like they did when you were doing opening the flow. And then they settle back down nice and slowly.
Good. Now bring your feet together whenever it's convenient. Just don't lose that flowy feeling. Now you choose whichever leg you're going to put the weight into. And the other leg just comes up onto toe following the arms. So it all just flows together. And notice as you come up on your toe, there's a weight shift into that other leg. Make sure that other leg's knee is bent just a little bit at least. Never want to lock it out. And then when you feel comfortable with that, just lift the toe off the ground an inch and then back down. Again, synchronized with the movement. If that feels as comfortable, next step is to try and not touch the ground. You can always use something to support you. If you've got a wall, put your hand against one wall if you want, so that you're just doing half. And just practice it that way, or a chair. Or just stay with lifting it just a little bit. Whatever makes you comfortable. Crane soaring. One more time. And settle back down. Good. Shake it out. We're going to do the same thing with the opposite leg. Realize that since I gave you the choice, chances are you started on the leg that's stronger. So this time it's going to probably be a little harder. So take your time with it. Don't hesitate to have a little help by having a chair or using the wall. We just start first with the nice flowing of flying. And then when you're ready, come up onto the toe. Nice and slow. Nice and relaxed. And if that feels comfortable, then you can go into crane soaring. couple more. Last one. And settle down. Shake it out. Go to a wider stance. Heart to the sky. So just lean back. Open your heart to the sky. Palms up. Let's just hold that for a moment. Just feel like the sun's energy coming down on you and soak that energy up. Relax the shoulders. And just feel the warmth as that energy bathes your face, your chest, your arms. And just lean back a little bit more.
and then collapse, come down, prayer position. Put the knuckles of your thumbs into your sternum and collapse down. And just hold that for a moment. And take a nice deep breath in. Go ahead, heart to the sky. Hold the breath just for a moment. Bathe in that energy. Then gather that energy up and bring it into the body. So we breathe in as we come up. We hold our breath for a second. We breathe out as we come down and then hold our breath for a second or so there. One more time, and then we're going to do this almost the same thing, but we're going to change it to a lung flow. So it's same thing, heart to the sky, but this time thumb and first finger touch. Bring the hands so the forearms and the pinkies come together, pulling the shoulders down and together. We breathe in, we open the lungs, absorbing that energy into lungs and then squeezing it into the lungs and beyond. Breathing in as we go out. Breathing out as we collapse down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thumb and first finger touch make that energetic loop with the lung meridian and the large intestine meridian, the yin and the yang organs that are paired together as part of the metal element. One more time. And just go ahead and collapse down and just hang. Got a little bit of a wider stance so it's nice and comfortable and just hang. Relax the back, the neck, the head. Only tension you should really feel is in your hamstrings, the backs of your legs. Each time you breathe out, see if you can drop a little bit lower. Just let everything else just relax. Two more. Go ahead and put your hands on the insides of your legs. And as you come up, not with your back, just rolling up nice and easy. Let the hands come up the inside of the legs to the quad. Let them come around to the kidneys and just hold there for a moment. Give the kidneys a nice rub. Take your hands and just move them slightly away if that's comfortable. This is also called the bear. Imagine dark blue light coming out of your palms, going into the kidneys, filling the kidneys with that warm energy.
And let's go to Iron Bridge from here. So let's start the way that probably everyone should be comfortable. You're gonna put your hands on your hips. You're gonna stick your butt out or your hips go back. And then you're gonna lean back, chest to the sky, chin gets tucked in. Breathe out and just hold that. And relax. So hopefully you're comfortable with that. The next step, if you were comfortable with that, is you're going to take your hands away. Again, we're going to hold the thumb and first finger. We're going to point that circle of that part of our hand at the kidneys. And we're going to do the same position. So we're going to stick our butt out. We're going to lean back, tuck our chin. And just hold that body might start to shake. That's a good thing. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Hands on your hips. Let's do some nice big hip circles. So try not to have the head move. It's all out of the hips. So the hips go back, they go to the side, they go forward, they go to the opposite side. Nice big hip circles. And reverse. Good, slow it down. Give you a little preview for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna to do a couple of bear moves. So the first bear move is bear turns. So the arms are at a 90 degree, palms fairly flat, fingers pointed back. Breathe out, just turn to the side. Breathe in back to the middle. Couple more. Last time each side. Good. Bring them down. Wrist cross. Come up just above the face. Sweep down. Breathe in, breathe out. As you go down, let your knees bend a little bit. And then as you come up, straighten them up a little, but don't lock them out. We're going to go from this into the fountain, which is in posture specific for the kidney meridian. So we're going to do this one more time. Come up, go down, this time bend down a little deeper, back of the hands face each other, but don't touch. As you breathe up, you straighten up, come up to the chest and then out. So we breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. The kidney meridian starts on the sole of the foot, 
comes up the inside of the leg and the superficial kidney meridian, that part of it that's on the surface of your body terminates right about there, the kidney 27 points. So we're bringing that energy up through the ground, up through the soles of your feet, up the legs, up the torso, and then taking what we no longer need, what no longer serves, and sending it back down to the earth to be recycled. If it helps, think of dark blue light coming up from the ground, up your legs, up your torso, and then gray smoke being sent out and down into the ground. Go down only as far as comfortable. You can actually widen this out and go even deeper. The idea here is not to bend at the waist though. One more time. And down, good. Bring your hands in front of you. And as you breathe in, let them expand outward about three inches. As you breathe out, come back to that starting point. Hands never touch. Fingers and hands should be very relaxed. One of my teachers basically says, liken your hands to fishtails, how they just kind of move back and forth. Try to feel that energy between your hands. As you move outward, it's resistance like pulling taffy. As you push inward, it's like pushing against an inflated balloon. Good, let's play with this ball a little bit. So one more time, let it expand outward even more. So you get a nice big ball. Just get that energy concentrated in a nice large ball. Good, and just hold on to that ball for a moment. Nice stable stance here. We're gonna roll that ball over onto its side. Then we're gonna roll it back on the opposite side. Keep contact with the ball the entire time. Feel a substance that's between your palms. It's like you have a big beach ball here and you're just turning it. Good, now stop with one hand on top, one hand below. Feel that ball. This is a little trickier. Try to roll the ball forward, making contact with the ball the entire time. One more time and then come back to one hand on top, one hand below, doesn't matter which. And let's go even a little harder for most people. What you're gonna do is you're gonna let this ball of energy move you. So you just need to relax. You need to stop controlling the ball 
and just let it start to go and move as it wants. There's no right or wrong here. Just let the energy move as it wants. Just hold on to that ball and go for a ride. Just relax into it. Don't even think about it. There's nothing that's correct or wrong. It just is. And just enjoy it for a couple seconds more. And bring it back to the center in front of your lower Dantian. Good. Now, hopefully, you can still feel the weight of that ball. You can feel the energy coming out of your hands. Let's take that ball. And again, this is the hard part. Without thinking about it, just allow the body to control you. Let the energy control you. Put that ball into just some part of your body. It probably is where you need it the most, but don't try not to think about it. Just let the ball decide. And then you can even split it into two balls. For example, some people have trouble with their knees and it just seems natural to go right into the knees and just push that energy into wherever it is and just hold it there for a moment. Feel that energy spreading out from that point up the body, down the body, throughout the body that energy moves. Bring your hands up, no matter where they were. Cross the hands, round the arms a bit, and have them face your lungs. Picture white light coming out of the palms. And that white light filling your lungs, clearing your lungs. Spelling any darkness, any stagnation, any blockages. Feel your lungs just vibrating with this wonderful, clear, loving energy. Just breathe it in, in and out through the nose. Good, now bring your hands on either side of your ears. Relax the shoulders, relax the hands. And just let that energy flow into the ears, every part of the ear, the external and internal parts of the ears. The areas in front and behind your ears.
Good. Drop your hands down. Take your right, your left hand, come across the body, and the fingertips point just in front of the ear here. And then sweep down and come across with the opposite. Breathe in as your fingers come up to the ear. Breathe out as you move it away. Bringing in fresh, clear energy as you breathe it into the ear. Clearing what you no longer need down to the earth as you breathe out. Clearing the chi. There are a number of postures called clearing the chi. One more time. Sweep down, good. Massage the ear all the way down between your finger and thumb, all the way down till you get to the lobe and really squeeze the lobe and pull it down. And do that three times, give them a real good massage, both ears. Good. Take your fingers now and put them into the fleshy part of your ear, inside the lobes. Don't stick your finger down the ear canal, but everywhere else, just put the finger there, give it a nice rub, move it around. You can even squeeze the thumb in the back and anywhere you find any sensitivity. Just stay there for a moment longer. Massage it out. Every point of the body can be treated with acupuncture in the ear. It's called auricular therapy. If you imagine a baby with its head down, its legs bent, and the legs are up, the feet are at the top, that's the way the structure of the body would be inside your ear. With of course the spine and things like that on the outside of the ear. And you're gonna put your hands over your ears so you can't hear anything. You're gonna get a nice seal and three times you're just gonna pop it. So breathe in. Good. Just relax. Just check in again. Hopefully now you really feel the energy moving through the body in areas where it's not, where it's stagnant, where it's blocked, become more obvious. Don't quantify them. Just identify them and move on. Bring your feet fairly close together, right hand below the lower Dantian, left hand scoops up as you breathe in, thumb and first finger separate. As you breathe out, thumb facing the center line of the body, coming down, you get to the bottom, you switch. That space between the thumb and the first finger is called the tiger's mouth. So you can feel the energy coming out of the tiger's mouth. Close your eyes and see if you can sense where your hand is along your central line by just the energy coming out of the tiger's mouth. It's called centering. Works with the triple warmer meridian. 
to balance the three Dantians, the upper Dantian at the forehead, the middle Dantian at the heart, the lower Dantian just below the abdomen. Last one. And finish with one hand over the other so the palms are over each other. So either holding at the wrist or interlacing the thumbs, doesn't matter which, doesn't matter which hand is on top. Put your feet fairly close together, as close as comfortable. Just let your body rock and sway as the energy comes out of your palms and goes into your body and being absorbed by a little pearl that is your lower Dantian. Just picture that pearl getting brighter, feel it getting warmer. It's absorbing that energy. Bring your hand up the right, down the left, three times, circles, just keeping that energy in there, securing it, locking it in. Feel that energy surging through your body, going beyond your physical body, encasing you in a protective cocoon. Just allow yourself to float weightlessly inside the cocoon. Picture yourself just a glow with that energy, like a beacon in the night. You become aware of what it feels like to be safe, to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a nice deep breath. Hold on to those feelings and take them with you for the rest of the day. <laughs>